So I recently made a video about Kyrie Irving giving him credit for standing up to the system and I still do give him credit because he is doing more than any celebrity has done so far him and Kanye West. However, when you look deeper into Kyrie Irving, his history, his background, he is not as innocent as you may think he is. He displays a lot of occultic symbols whether it's on what he wears or whether it's tattooed on him all the way to his jersey numbers for the basketball teams that he has played. It has been 11 twice and I think we should start with that. That number anyone who knows is quite occultic. It's known even in the new age community that when you see 11 11 11 or just 11 11 it's a good sign or whatever forget about all of that the number 11 has to do with the two pillars of three jasonry and i've already said this before every basketball player that you have ever seen that you know of is a three jason the whole idea of the rings in basketball in the NBA comes from three jasonry. The association of the rings makes it super clear. Sellouts such as Shaquille O'Neal openly tell you that there are three jasons and actually he shows you his ring. He's very proud of it. He's the only one that is actually open with it. All of them are three jasons. It's just that Shaquille O'Neal is shameless enough to let the world know that he has been tickled in his funny place by other men of his group. That's how he earned his ring. You can't just get a ring or rise up in the ranks of 3 Jasonry without being tickled if you know what I mean. But nonetheless, Kyrie Irving wears some demonic t-shirts and hoodies. He very often wears hoodies and t-shirts which display satanic imagery and sigils that even go beyond my understanding of what I have seen. However, what I can tell you is that it's a combination of different types of satanic symbolism and other occultic knowledge. Either way, we are clear of the fact that that's a satanic symbol mixed with some other stuff that he probably has earned and he has been enlightened through the knowledge of Lucifer that's given to them in the three Jasonry group. His Nike shoes also display the all-seeing eye in them. What else can I tell you? But this is the man that is supposedly standing up to the system by the way the system that he's going against they believe in the same things that he does which is what i've said about kanye west as well that's why i can't take these guys too seriously because although they are taking a stand and they need credit for that they're still being brave however that doesn't change the fact that these people are all a part of the same occultic practices and groups Based on the type of messages that Kyrie Irving is taking a stand for, which is a good message by the way, but it tells me that he's one of those brother polite type of dudes. He is tapped into the whole Egyptian occultic knowledge as well. He clearly shows the Ankh symbol as well, which they believe bring them good fortune, protection and blah 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 obvious nonsense at least in my opinion if you believe in that that's cool but on this channel i clearly stand against all of that so if that offends you then maybe you should find another channel but it's all bs but they believe in it that's what makes it important they believe in the stuff whether you believe it or not is irrelevant they believe in it and they also act upon their beliefs all right that's why they show you these symbols he also has a tattoo of the hand of hamsa on him which also has north african and middle eastern origins and that's the region of the world where most of the occultic knowledge originates but let's not just give it a negative spin most of the fundamental knowledges have been garnered from those regions of the world middle east and north africa however that also came with a lot of occultic knowledge and practices and paganism so that's that ancient sumeria babylon egypt these places have a lot of occultic energies tapped into them 
That's why some believe that that is the reason that there's always unrest in that region and that is because it's been targeted for its occultic powers. Those regions have occultic powers and energies trapped to them because of the thousand years of practices that have been practiced there. But back to Kyrie and Kanye West. You see, every time they give us a figure, a character, a celebrity to voice our opinions and actually take a stand against the so-called system, when you look deeper into their history and their background and the things that they actually practice and display, you soon find out that they are no different than the people that they are going against. And sadly, Kyrie Irving is no different. Hit the like button if you're still watching the video. But this also proves the idea or the hypothesis that every celebrity that has gained success and massive popularity, they have been through the doors, they have been initiated and this is just Kyrie Irving showing us glimpses of his initiation and the fact that he has been through the doors even though he stands up against a certain group that doesn't really make him a saint or someone that is clear of all those accusations and all those practices he's just like Kanye West Kanye West shows so much satanic imagery and specifically he points to his Saturn worship very clearly you should go watch some of my previous videos about Kanye West he shows all his imagery and then on the other hand he talks about God he says that he is a Christian where in Christianity are you taught to show satanic imagery and show your worship of Moloch and Saturn where where did you get that from how can you say you're a Christian when you're doing all of this this is all just BS a character that he's made up and when he says God is all these celebrities when they say God they do not mean the God of Abraham in fact I believe this is just my opinion when these celebrities talk about Satan they are actually referring to the God of Abraham as Satan that's pure blasphemy and when they say God they mean Lucifer all right that's how these people operate and you can't take their words seriously but then again of course we still give them credit for actually doing some good but also they have that belief that for every bad deed that they commit they also have to balance it with a good deed which also links to the idea of the duality of three Jason Ree. these people are tapped into multiple occultic practices because they are trying to find a truth other than what the God of Abraham has sent us.